गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द डिफरेंट स्टेजेस ऑफ कंबेशन इन एस आई इंजिन एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट व्हाट आर व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स दैट आर अफेक्टिंग ऑन द फ्लेम स्पीड ओके नाउ टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट व्हाट इज द नॉकिंग ओके एंड व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग अपॉन द नॉकिंग इन द एस आई इंजिन ऑल्सो वी विल सी व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट types of combustion chambers that are used in the s yes engine so let's start today's lecture but before that i hope you are seeing all the uh, videos what are whatever i am uploading on the google classroom okay unless and until you and, uh, study or see that particular videos okay before see this video you cannot understand the further uh, concepts so please go and see that videos first and after that see this one okay so let us see before actually studying to the knocking in a sign engine first of all we have to see what is actually the rate of pressure rise that is how the pressure inside the combustion chamber increases or rises okay and what are the different uh, factors that are influencing this particular rate of pressure rise and how this particular rate of pressure rise is affecting on the normal combustion abnormal combustion okay and that is ultimately in the knocking that we have to see okay so let us discuss in uh, for, for few minutes about this rate of uh, pressure rise and after that we will see the knocking okay so basically <coughs> the rate of pressure rise in an engine combustion chamber exerts a considerable influence on the peak pressure developed the power produced and the smoothness with which the forces are transmitted to the piston okay so these are the main different uh, considerations that will definitely influence uh, with the help of this rate of pressure rise so when the rate of pressure rise is normal okay then we can say that the all these things will happen normally if the rate of pressure rise is very much higher then these particular three cases will takes uh, takes place a uh, very high uh, at the peak level okay now what there will be certain limitations for, for this rate of pressure rise after some limitations if this rate of pressure rise is increased then definitely this is not a uh, not good thing for the engine okay so let us discuss in more detail about this particular rate of pressure rise the rate of pressure rise is mainly dependent upon the rate of combustion of the mixture okay so how the combustion of the mixture takes place Uh, and the, what is the, actually the rate of combustion of mixture takes place in the combustion chamber or in the cylinder that is very much important okay and on this particular uh, rate of combustion of mixture this rate of pressure rise depend now if you see this particular curve here you can see this particular curve indicates uh, crank angle versus pressure okay and if you see here there are three graphs high rate that is graph number 1 normal rate and this is the low rate okay so here if you see in the high rate of the pressure rise okay, the, this particular star indicates the peak pressure and uh, this particular indicates the start of pressure rise so if you see here these are the points where the stage 1 uh, the high rate of high rate 1 high normal rate 2 and low rate 3rd okay so these particular graphs will start from this particular points so at from this points the actual start of uh, pressure rise takes place okay so if you see in the high rate uh, of the pressure rise you will get the maximum pressure after just after the tdc okay and this is the okay condition actually to get the maximum power inside the combustion chamber so if you see in the normal rate okay so in normal rate what happens so again after some degree we will get the maximum pressure rise okay and in low rate it is very much late you will get the maximum pressure rise okay or the maximum pressure okay that we will see after very much up, after a tdc okay now what is exactly happening here curve 1 is for a high curve 2 is for the normal and curve 3 is for the low rate that we discussed discussed already with lower rate of combustion longer time is required to complete the combustion which necessitate uh, necessitates the initiation of burning at an early point on the compression stroke 
So if you see this particular graph number three, that is not uh, this low rate graph. So the start of injection in that particular graph is very much early. Okay. So as uh, the rate of pressure rise is very much uh, late and the longer time is required to, for the complete combustion. So what we have to do in this case, we have to ignite the fuel air mixture very much early. Okay. So this is the case number one here. High rate of combustion results in a higher rate of pressure rise producing higher peak pressure at a point closer to TDC. Okay. And if you see the start of ignition of this particular point, it is very much late. Okay, so at this particular point, we we will get the maximum uh, high rate of the pressure. Okay, now higher peak pressures closure to TDC produce a greater force acting through a large part of the power stroke and hence increase the power output of the engine. Right, the higher rate pressure rise causes rough running of the engine because of the vibrations produced in the crankshaft rotations. So, very much higher rate of pressure rise is good for the power output, but it is somewhat not good for the, uh, if you consider the total overall uh, working of the engine. So, it may cause the rough running and the vibrations of the crankshaft rotation. Okay. It also tends to promote an undesirable occurrence known as knocking. Okay. So after after a certain level, if the rate of pressure rise increases, definitely it may lead to the occurrence of the knocking. A compromise between these opposing factors is accomplished by designing and operating the engine in such a manner that approximately one half of the maximum pressure is reached by the time the piston reaches TDC. Okay, so that is the normal case. We can say this as a normal case, okay, and this is the compromise between these particular previous two cases. So, this results in the peak pressure being reasonably close to the beginning of the power stroke, it maintaining smooth engine operation, and this is the good thing, okay. Now, let us discuss about what is been by abnormal combustion, okay. So, this we are this particular two lines are def, uh, definitely these are for the normal combustion. Okay, or the normal rate of pressure rise. Now, let us see what exactly happened in the abnormal combustion. So, knock and surface ignition. Abnormal combustion reveals itself in many ways. The two major abnormal combustion processes which are important in practice are knock and surface ignition. Okay, so these are the actually knocking and the surface ignition, these are the two abnormal combustion processes. These abnormal combustion phenomena are of concern. Because why we have to focus on this particular abnormal combustion phenomenon? Because when saver, that means when these particular two cases are very much higher in the in case of combustion chamber, they can cause major engine damage. And second, even if not saver, they are regarded as an objectionable source of noise by the engine or vehicle operator. Okay. Now let us discuss about this abnormal combustion first. So knock is the name given to the noise which is transmitted through the engine structure when essentially spontaneous ignition of a portion of the end gas, the fuel, air, residual gases, mixture ahead of the propagating flame occurs. Okay. So what is the exactly meaning of this particular case? Let us discuss in this particular manner. <clears throat> so what is exactly happening here? Suppose this is a combustion chamber, cross section of the combustion chamber and at this particular location there is a spark plug. Let us discuss about this. So this is the spark plug. So what happens? Whatever charge is available here, let us discuss this. Okay. Let us consider this is the charge available inside the combustion chamber. So what happens? The flame front will reach up to this particular point. Okay. Suppose this is the point B, B. Okay. So this flame reaches up to this point, so it's all the combustion mixture available as uh, so the combustible mixture available in this particular portion, okay. And combustion takes place, but whatever these particular gases are available or unburned hydrocarbons are available at this end, these gases what happens? 
before uh, reaching this particular flame up to this mixture these mixture get auto ignite or self ignite and due to self ignition of this particular mixture what will happen the reverse flame will be generated and this reverse flame and this forward flame will get collide to each other and some amount of noise is created and that is nothing but your knocking actually okay so there is an extremely rapid release of most of the chemical energy in the end gas causing very high local pressures and the propagation of pressure waves for of substantial at, uh, amplitude across the combustion chamber okay so these particular reverse waves are generated right so and that is nothing but your knocking phenomenon what is surface ignition surface ignition is ignition of the fuel air mixture by a hot spot on the combustion chamber walls such as an overheated wall or spark plug or glowing combustion chamber deposit that is by an any means other than the normal spark discharge okay so following surface uh, ignition a flame develops at each each surface ignition location and starts to propagate across the chamber in an analogous manner to what occurs with normal spark ignition okay now why why actually this particular end gases are uh, burned so causes for the end gas combustion so heat release due to the combustion in si engine increases the temperature and the pressure of the burned part of the mixture above those of the unburned mixture in order to effect pressure equalization the burn part of the mixture will expand and compress the unburned mixture automatically thereby increasing its pressure and temperature okay so basically what is happening whatever unburned hydrocarbons are remaining at the end unburned mixture is remain at the end of the combustion that particular mixture get uh, the pressure and the temperature of that particular mixture get increases and that's why it get burn if the temperature of the unburned mixture exceeds the self ignition temperature of the fuel spontaneous ignition or the auto ignition occurs at the various pin point locations so what is the word here auto ignition okay or the self ignition and due to this particular self ignition the reverse flames are generated the advancing flame front compresses the end charge bb dash look at this bd b dash or bb dash d so this one whatever hatching lines are shown here this particular charge get auto ignited okay which is available at the end of this particular chamber at which the flame will not reach and that's why this particular mixture get and uh, burn but in the normal case what happens in normal case this is a normal pressure rise okay curve and there will be no detonation in this case if this particular hatching line portion that is b b dash d get burn itself there will be no knocking in spite of these factors if the temperature of the end charge had not reached its self ignition temperature the charge would not auto ignite and the flame will advance further and consume the charge bb dash and this is called as normal combustion okay so this case is called a normal uh, combustion now let us stop here and in next lecture we will discuss in more detail about this knocking in s engine okay so thank you very much